this first started happening, we were all just totally shocked. A dangerous social media trend is affecting teenagers here in San Antonio. It involves an over-the-counter drug you can get for less than $10. Fox Antonio's Amanda Henderson breaks down the warning from experts tonight. There's no euphoria when it comes to overdosing. Dr. Han Tony Gao of UT Health San Antonio works at the South Texas Poison Center and University Hospital. Tonight, he's warning you about a trend that could harm your child. In our pediatric emergency room, we have seen kids go through the ED who have been doing this exact challenge. It's called the Benadryl challenge. The goal to get a high by taking as much of the over the counter drug as possible. It first went viral on the popular social media app TikTok last fall and has resulted in deaths. Dr. Gao says at their pediatric hospital, they've had fewer than 10 cases. The first coming earlier this year. There was a period last month, I think, where in the span of a week we got uh, almost five cases in that one week. Both Baptist and Christus Children's Hospitals have seen no patients linked to this challenge. Baptist saying in a statement, their pediatric specialist, quote, urge parents to watch for indications that a child may have been poisoned. On any Benadryl package, you'll actually see specific instructions on the back as to how many pills a person can take. Right here, it says adults and children over the age of 12 can take one to two pills every four to six hours. Inside this box of Benadryl right here, there are actually 24 individual tablets. Here they are right here. Now, in some cases, medical professionals are telling me that they're seeing children with up to four times as many pills in their system. We've had kids that have ingested close to like more than 100 at a, at a single time. Dr. Gao says at that point, it is a race against time. They could have seizures and they could be admitted to the hospital for a really long time. Potentially up to a week in some cases. There's no easy way for us to get the body to eliminate it faster. We just wait it out and wait for the body to metabolize the drug to get it out of their system. So what's with the popularity of this challenge if it's so dangerous? Frank Emmett with the Ecumenical Center says there could be multiple reasons. It's like I double dog dare you uh, to Put your tongue on a frozen lamppost. Emmett says they have seen children follow dangerous trends before. I'll just keep taking it as long as they're feeling the way they want to feel. He says be aware of any behavioral changes in your child as they may be hiding something. Sit down and have a dinner table conversation uh, about the dangers and risk of doing things that could be uh, harmful. If your child is to come to you and say they've taken more medication than they're normally allowed to, or you believe they're in the middle of an overdose, get them to medical attention immediately. Amanda Henderson, Fox News at 9.